Hi, this is Dr. Fast here. In this video, I will be installing seat belt stoppers on my third row seat belts of this Nissan Quest. And the reason I need to do that is because of a bad design by Nissan. Now, if you look at the seat belt here, there is a black seat belt stopper right here, this little plastic piece. And the whole purpose of having this is to prevent the tongue plate, this piece I'm holding is called a tongue plate, from dropping below this point. However, if you look up a little further, they've sewn this pattern here where a lot of times this tongue plate will work its way past this point and it gets stuck between these two points. So when I have passengers sitting in the third row and they try to put on a seat belt and they're pulling on this, it's stuck. If you look at all the other seat belts on the first row and second row, the seat belt stopper is up here at the top, not down here. So what I'm planning to do is install another one up top right here so that the tongue plate will go no further down than right here. As a comparison, you're looking at the second row seat belt. You see how this tongue plate is way up at the top and right at the top, that's where the seat belt stopper is. Now you can buy replacement seat belt stoppers on eBay. I got these for about a dollar for two of these, but they come in beige, uh, gray, or black. You can choose whatever color will fit your vehicle. Now this procedure can be used to also replace broken seat belt stoppers if you have a broken one in your vehicle. Here's a closer look at the seat belt stoppers. They come in two pieces and you fit one piece over the other and the seat belt is sandwiched in the middle and then you need to crimp and squeeze this middle part down. So I was checking online to find out how these seat belt stoppers are installed and some people say use pliers to crimp it and then some people say melt the plastic piece and actually if you look at the factory one it does look like it's melted. To make the installation a little easier I've pulled the seat belt out and then using a clamp I'm clamping this end so that it won't retract all the way and by doing that now I have room on the seat belt to work on so the first thing you need to do is move the tongue plate to the top of where the seatbelt is and then choose a location where you want to install the seatbelt stopper. Next thing is to get a sharp object like this awl here and we'll poke a hole through this. So as you can see it's gone through. Since I don't have the proper crimping tool to crush that center pin of the seatbelt stopper, I'm going to use the melting method. And here I have a old soldering iron which I don't use anymore. And I'm going to cut off the sharp tip at the end so it'll be flat. Now just because I cut the tip off, this 30 watt soldering iron it does not mean that you cannot use this for soldering anymore. In fact, all soldering irons, you can replace a tip on this one. Just unscrew the old tip and then you can put in a new one. Or if you want to, you can grind this tip down to a point and tin it with solder and continue using it for soldering. On the seat belt, move the tongue plate above where you need to install the stopper. Now we'll put this piece with the center pin through this hole. On the other side, place the other piece onto the center pin. And here you see the plastic center pin showing. With the soldering iron heated, now we'll carefully melt the center pin while holding two pieces together. So here's a closer look at the seatbelt stopper installed and you can see the tongue plate will not go past this point. Now as you can see the tongue plate sits near the top of where the seatbelt is just like all the other seatbelts in the front and I don't have to worry about this slipping and falling between these two points right here. Now if you're going to be working on a project like this I recommend that you buy more than the two pieces that you'll need because the first two might not work out and you might have to get extra pieces. 
and they're inexpensive on eBay I think 10 pieces is around five dollars so anyways I hope you enjoy watching this video if you have any questions or comments leave one in the comment section below and don't forget to click on the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thank you